Alrighty folks, welcome back to Pongo Paints. I'm your host Trooper6. Episode 2, Corny Night Lord. Uh, I went ahead and cheated off camera. I painted the thigh. Sue me. Alright, so this has dried... Yeah, that has dried very well. So we're going to go ahead and continue painting him. We're going with the Flesh Terror Red. And then there's going to be Night Lord Blue on both pauldrons and the helmet. Uh, I believe we're going to use Greedy Gold to do all of the uh, chaos markings. We might go with some true copper. It's a lot darker, but I've been liking it very much, just like that rough iron you see over there. Uh, rough iron, it's almost black. you got that metallic and whatnot. Uh, excellent. <clears throat> excellent, excellent shading. Uh, I usually use stuff like that on the backpack. On these extensions going out to here but either way we'll see what we got going on so let's just jump right back into it and not waste too much time dare I say I'm almost getting better or used to painting this way I mean I just spent the last three four weeks uh, painting normally. <laughs> yeah, luckily with uh, uploading only once a week, it gives you time. It gives you a lot of time to do other stuff. And then doing long series, it kind of just, you know, buys you some more time. Mm, that came out very thin. It's okay. We'll just go back with it later. Either way. Come on, slap that paint. Blip. Blip. Blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. My buddy Biggest told me to get weird with it. Because allegedly I'm a weirdo. So, blip. That blip's for you. Blip. As a Nurgleite, you would appreciate that, I'm sure. Blip, blip. Get up in there, even though you're most likely not going to see little details like that. But either way, it makes me feel better. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Hmm? Don't say politics. Don't say religion. These are dirty topics. You don't talk about those. Please, God, don't say football. I don't watch it. I mean, I do watch uh, college ball, but only once a year. And that's when the Ohio State University is taking on dirty old Miss shit can. I would apologize to any Michigan fans, but as a Buckeye, y'all can go to hell. It's all fun and games, but, you know, go to hell. <laughs> Uh, one of the best rivalries I've ever seen in any sport. I always love a really good rivalry. Just like uh, my Bruins in hockey. Against those dirty Canadians. Yeah. That's why I've always told people I'm not allowed to go to Canada. Especially if you take me to uh, to uh, Montreal. You're not allowed. I will do my best to get us deported because I will just be that belligerent of a... Uh, of a Bruins fan. If you guys are uh, Montreal Canadian fans, I mean, me. Hi, I guess. Dirty people. It's your dirty colors. Actually, I give you guys a lot of crap, but uh, you did have one of my favorite players. Uh,. I'm sure a lot of people's favorite players, almost ridiculous, uh, well, uh, cliche, not really ridiculous, but either way, you know, Maurice the Rocket Richard. Who doesn't love Maurice Richard? He's awesome. Such an amazing player. Uh, I have watched, I have watched the actual clips, uh, the games of him playing, and good lord. 
Uh, I know it's almost ridiculous to say no one moves like that anymore because the game has obviously uh, evolved. People have gotten so much more talented and uh, creative and, and just downright crazy on that ice. But uh, for real, no one, no one really moves like that guy. No one really does that anymore. Just like my, my homeboy Bobby Orr. No one moves like him. And I think there's a reason. If they did, they would no longer have knees. And I know that's always been something that he has said. The, f the first thing to go in his career was his knees. Which I've watched him play, uh, you know, on reruns. <laughs> uh, and yeah, yeah, I could understand why his knees were so torn up. Uh, and that's why his career kind of fell a little short. I'm sure there might have been other reasons, but still, uh, you know, you play hard like that and it's bound to catch up with you. I almost forgot about your butt flap, dude. Look at this. I got so caught up kissing ass, I forgot to paint your ass. Either way. Um, yeah, hockey's always been my sport. Our local team around here, the Norfolk Admirals. Always fun to go. I remember when they were the Hampton Roads Admirals and their colors were blue and gold. My hated color scheme. Uh, if, if you like blue and gold, that's cool on you. You're probably an Ultramarine fan. Or a dirty Michigan Wolverine. So gross. So gross. Can't stand those Michigan Wolverines. Yuck. Not sure what to do with you. We might just go iron because uh, the belt. I'm gonna go with. I might go with a flesh tone, honestly, and just say that that is flesh. Same with this. That'll just be some hair. I mean, whatever. But this, I might just go with rough iron, and then yeah, yeah, and then gold, and the rest of those can be iron. Those tubes will be most likely gunmetal. I, I know, I'm thinking out loud. I didn't have the fullest of game plans for this. But that's okay. Alright, we got another level glove on this arm. But we got a little bit here that we can paint. So let's do it up. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. I know a lot of this will be covered with, uh, with the pauldron, but still. Oh, there's a soft part. I forgot. Shame on me. Shame on you. You can rip me apart in the comments. It'll be fine. Ah, oh, you dingbat. Dirty, dirty American. How dare you. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, you got more paint. I know you do. Just get on there. All right. So yeah, very much. I like flesh terror red. This stuff is awesome. Uh, I've already painted, you know, a few flesh terrors in my time. I don't feel like reaching. Uh. Actually, one of my favorite flesh tears that I did. Uh, if you've seen it online, you know what I'm about to talk about. The, uh, the Coronate flesh tear. I friggin' love that model. He turned out... He just... He turned out a lot better than I, than I feared he would. And honestly, that was even... That was an unprimed miniature. I painted that... No primer. I almost did it for this as an experiment just to show that, yes... You can prime things, but if you don't, you just kind of have to know what you're doing, not to sound like that guy, I guess. Either way, um, it is possible. The Flesh Terror Red, uh, <laughs> it is a pain to get that to, uh, to go properly. 
uh, when it's not primed, you you really have to cake it on there. It, but like I've said, luckily it just does not cake. Uh, it's trying to get this in here. All right. As you can see, it's almost a little thin in some spots. However, when we put our known oil on here, the cheat oil, cheat sauce, it's going to fix it and it's going to darken it up even more. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, perhaps next episode we'll break that out and show you guys. However, I think that's it for, for all the Flesh Terror Red. So that's actually surprising. Yeah, because everything else is just going to be a bunch of different colors. Let me get a better look at this behind the camera here. Oh, wow. Maybe maybe I will use this light. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think we're done with Flush Terror Red. Wow. Uh, okay. I'm going to put you right back there. Uh, yeah, I made sure to have him showing because I like him. I think I did a good job on him. So he's going to sit right there. And... Woo! Mm. Apologies for the awning. I don't mean to sound any kind of way except for tired. Let me let's face it. We're just we're t we're tired. We're very tired people. Ooh, we could just go back there with black again and uh, whatever. Either way, <laughs> let's jump to these uh let's jump to these gloves because why not? I could wait until we're doing uh the, the 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 gun holster and all that stuff on his hip. But yeah, whatever. Let's just do this. Been inconsistent with the other models. Let's just be consistently inconsistent. How about that? That flesh is going to be interesting, so... Uh, we all know Night Lords are very pale, so I might take some... I might take some mummy robe and mix it with... Mix it with some ash gray... I believe that's what I did for the Slaneshi Nightlord face. Hard to remember. I painted him quite a few minis ago. And so that that's actually something that's been catching me lately. Is someone would be like, well, what'd you do for this? I don't remember. Dude, you just painted that. I'm like, uh-huh, like a week ago, right? They're like, yeah, yeah, a week ago. How can you not remember? Because I've done seven other minis now. When I when I get on these rolls, man, and I'm churning them out, hard to remember. Very hard to remember things like that. You just kind of zone out and take the next project and the next one and the next one. And before you know it, you've painted all your damn minis and you don't have money for the next ones. And you're just like, well, crap. This brown has lightened up. Used to be a lot darker. It could just be the lighting. Yeah. Yeah, we just got a very good light here. So that's fine. Do 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 It'll look more like one leather. Get in there, get in there, get over that thumb. I'm leaving a lot of paint. If you noticed, I'm not, I'm not uh, exactly, you know, dipping the brush then wiping off excess. Tis part of the plan. And we're just gonna hide that little gray spot. There was a gray right here, right, um, right in there, right in right there. Uh, I realized I could have painted that red. Because it looked like it was a little bit of armor sticking out from under the glove. But whatever, 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 whatever. It'll be fine. Like the drinker, the critical drinker. Nah, it'll be fine. 
Oh god, that was terrible. My apologies to any Scottish people that are watching. <laughs> That was, that was god awful. So don't hate me, don't sue me, don't kill me. If you plan on killing me, let me know. That way we can have an epic battle. Maybe we we could record it, get a few hits. Whew! What do you guys want to jump to? You want to do some Night Lord? Do you want to do some Night Lord Blue? Now that we're halfway through this episode. Why not? This one's gonna be nasty. I've had this Night Lord Blue uh, for quite a while, and bleh. okay, that looks a lot better than it did last time I used it. Speaking of last time I used it, we're gonna look at him one more time. So you see what I mean with that face? Very pale, very very pale. So we're gonna try to shoot for that. Anyway, Night Lord Blue. Here we go. You don't have much to you. We're going to start with you. And you know what? We're going to go with the small brush. Give that other brush a break. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -boo -boo. I've been trying to make sure that things stay in, uh, stay in focus on here. So if I've done a good job, thanks. Well, I guess let me know. Um, if not, well... I'll keep it in mind for future episodes because it'll be a little too late when this airs. And when I go back and edit some stuff, I'll probably see it and go, well, damn it. Oh, man. Speaking of a damn it moment, I was uh, editing episode two of The Mortifactors, and I kind of did a rush job on it. Because there really wasn't much to edit. Uh, so when I'm recording, like I'm doing on my phone right now, uh, anything longer than like 10 minutes, it does bundle videos. And it's fine, because when I, when I you know, go back and play it, it blends seamlessly. Now if you guys have noticed, somewhere around that kind of time frame mark, uh, in my uploaded videos... I throw in like a glitch or something because it jumps like a half second or something. That is what happens when I take these videos. I transfer them to my laptop and whatnot. And then when I transfer them back so that I can edit them, those, those bundle videos get broken up on the laptop. So it kind of throws all of that out of whack. Well, it's okay. Just means I throw in the little transition and make a good laugh out of it. Like if anybody remembers from the Kakaradons thing, oh man, recording that and editing that specifically, editing was a f nightmare. Uh, nothing was working out. Things were just coming out uh, chopped. Uh, and then the coloration... Dude, the coloration that happened toward the end of all of the videos, um, if you remember, the, the colors started to get all wonky. And I remember, I think on the first or second episode, I had I, I put in something like a you know transmission, uh, warp interference, and all that stuff. And I tried to play all that up until the end of the series. Like at the end, I was like you know putting a you know, warp anomaly detected or identified, you know, deploying Kakaradons. Uh, when honestly it was just me using real basic uh, editing software. It's an app on my phone. I'm still kind of doing it because I've been messing with the, uh, with the free programs out there and I'm just, I don't know. It, it's hard to find the time to mess with all that stuff, especially when I'm trying to get you know, things painted for everyone to see. And I, I finally found the way around it. Because if you'll notice on the uh, Mortifactor videos that I, that I have up, one and two, hmm, 
This one is gunkin. Spread it out. It'll be okay. Uh, that color distortion at the end there, it's not really, it's not there anymore. And all I did was I bumped down the resolution from 4K to 2K. I was like, I, I really don't want to bump this down, you know, because 4K is pretty much the norm now. Uh, not a lot of people do um, 1080p anymore. I know there still are videos out there. There's plenty of stuff that is just 1080p. Uh, I totally forgot there was even a 2K option. So when I was rendering the video, because after you're done editing it, you, you go to save it to your phone and whatnot. You get your options for how you want it to save, you know, what format and everything and what is the resolution where even your uh, frames per second so I always save it as 60 of course because you know I'm a gamer and to do any less is almost crazy but I ended up uh, bumping it down to 2k to see if that would work and thankfully it did and honestly when I watch the video again just to make sure everything's good yeah it you can't exactly tell the difference if you can tell the difference my apologies uh, like if it just doesn't look as good as it could i mean hey that's why i asked you guys about the patreon and whatnot uh because if i could get a little bit of funding for the channel i could produce more and better quality videos for you guys because that is something that i would love to do uh, i have some ideas for more uh, I hope that I even have time to, to record them. I almost didn't even do a mini today. I was going to just do those videos. Uh, I was going to record some new, possible new intro music and outro music. As I'm not sure how much you guys are aware of when it comes to those music. I did those on my guitar. I don't know if I ever admitted to that. I don't, I don't really care to admit doing any of that stuff only because i'm not the best but either way uh brain fart i just remembered why i even started talking about all of this editing crap in the first place so more factors episode two like not even three minutes in i think uh i blurted out just pure nonsense uh i was like getting back into it but i was looking at the model and I'm just like, all right, welcome back. You know, we're doing Morta Factors, uh, successors of Blood Angels. Okay, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't realize it until after I had already uploaded the video and whatnot. And I go back and I watch it just to make sure everything was okay. And I hear that and I just, ugh, whatever, too late. And I put it, I believe I put it in the caption that I know I did that. Uh, even when I posted about it on social media, I was like, I am aware that I am an idiot. You don't have to be like, hey, what the hell, dude? Uh, my dyslexia had struck with uploading it. Uh, it seems for a while here, in Mortifactors, it would adjust it to the Mortificators. And my God, that went on for embarrassingly long and I never, never caught it mainly because I am going to blame dyslexia. I am slightly dyslexic and I want to say it's not fun, but honestly, it leads to more fun than not. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good old fashioned oopsies? But either way, all right. that was quick. Uh, while we were talking, I, I figured I am going to paint this backpack blue. I am going to do that because usually when you have a when you have matching pauldrons and a helmet like that, uh, I've, most of the time their backpack will match it, and I think that's probably just going to be a good idea. So we're going to do this backpack before the episode ends here. But yeah, I thought that was the dumbest mistake of mine to to keep going mortificators and it messed with my head so much I had to I had to look it up again. I was like, "Please tell me that I am not just 
double screwing with my with my own head here. Is it mortificators or is it mortifactors? Because I've even heard a uh, major kill say mortificators, and I was like, "There's no way it's it's not mortificators." And when I looked it up, it said mortifactors, so we're going with mortifactors. I even tried to type in 40k mortificators, and you know it would correct me to the mortifactors. So damn it, everyone who's been calling mortificators, catch yourself. You need to not fall into the same mistakenly trap that I did <laughs> just blech. little things little little mistakes like that drive me bonkers on my own work at least but hey I haven't heard any honest complaints so who cares unless you guys are judging me be behind closed doors which you know what yeah who doesn't do that like, uh, dumb moment, whatever, moving on. Either way, I think the experience of just painting them and having the fun was the whole point of it anyway. Because painting that mini was really fun. It really, really was. Um, it's gotten quite a few favorites on Etsy. As much as I like it, I, I, I did post it up for grabs, uh, mainly because I'm just really proud of the work. And I know one guy on there, he just bought his third one from me. And I'm like, <laughs> I know he favorited the, uh, the Mortificator. <laughs> he already bought the other one. I was like, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? So if he does, I might just throw his little something extra in that box. Who knows? Who knows, man? Somebody else might get it. Because, like I said, it does have quite a few favorites on there. Which is pretty cool. I like that you guys like it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. We're, we're still watching. Although I don't want that one. We're going to go here. Okay. We finished up this backpack. At least the bluing of it. The hand slipped. Ought to be interesting. Ought to be interesting. Speaking of uh, some Etsy, I did pull a few models off of there. Uh, like... Recently, I had done a crossover. I did a few crossovers, and I plan on doing a couple more. Uh, but I did a crossover for uh, 40K Mass Effect, and I had that Marine up on Etsy. And honestly, once I did the counterpart to him, I was like, I like these two so much that I am unwilling to part with them. So I took them off Etsy. And if you had them favorited... Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm, I'm sorry that you that I took away your opportunity to get it. However, I think you might be able to understand. I, I just can't part with it. I know I can always paint another one, but damn it, it looks so good. At least to me, I just didn't want to get rid of it. Not yet, not yet. I could probably do an army or a kill team or just a combat patrol of those guys. They looked, they looked really good. Either way, uh, we're about at the 30 minute mark. So we've got the night Lord blue done. We've got the flesh terror done. So basically all we got to do is all the dressing. So we got to do all the gold or copper. I'm not sure which one I'll go with considering that everything is so dark. I think we're going to go with gold. The copper would probably be a nice nice touch with that too. But I'll tell you what. We're going to do that little fire. That little, little, little cap right there. We're going to do that with copper. And see how that comes out. All that's going to be iron. Those are going to be uh, silver. But yeah. I guess we'll see you guys on the next round. Uh, may the void fire guide your brush. And please stay safe out there. 
if you got any uh, if you got any ideas for a mini that you that you want to see me try, sure. If you got some techniques that you want me to try, sure. Uh, just hit me up, drop them in the comments. Uh, like a fool, I, I read the comments and I try to stay pretty active with responding to people. Um, seriously, any kind of ideas or challenges that you want, hit me up. I'm willing to try to give it a shot. Uh, for for the love of God, don't don't suggest a, a Titan right now. That'll take too long, and I don't want to bore you guys, especially when <laughs> when I'm only uploading once a week. I don't want to take up two months of your life with that. Hell, that would probably take me a week to paint just by myself. Like, if I wasn't even recording, if I was just sitting there and painting diligently with no interruptions, it would still probably take me a week to do. But either way, you guys get the point. I'll see you all on the next round. And uh, take it easy, alright?